Well, we had to stop here at Tractor Supply Place. Um, Scotty ordered a new generator. Unfortunately, it's uh, there's something wrong with it. So he's in there trying to get another one ordered and we'll pick it up uh, down the road at another Tractor Supply Company store. But look, I was out taking uh, Pumpkin for a little walk. I found the cutest little uh, rock. A little smiley face. A little NASCAR flag. Well, race flag. You, uh, that's Sparkly's. And then, let's see. That's who uh, painted it. And it says, Keep her hide post uh, on Yuma Rocks. So I'll do that. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and rehide it. Super cute. All right, we are finally on our way and we are heading to Ajo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, look. Ah. <laughs> I kept calling it Aha, which is a drink, uh, um, kind of like a soda flavored water. flavored water that Aja drinks, and I was calling it Aha, but it's Ajo. Uh, I don't know if we're going all the way to Ajo, which is a little town. Um, there's some of our friends are in a campground or BLM area that we're heading to. Aja's got the coordinates, so we're following her. And we've got Dave and Bella from Dave's RV Life behind us following. So that's where we're going today. I was telling you that we were at Tractor Supply. I was showing you guys that. Uh, so we bought, Scotty bought a generator. And what was going on with the generator? Well, I wanted to get, it's a remote control start so I could have it hooked up when Terry... Oh, hang on. I wanted to get a generator I that... Right behind me. Let's find him. Come again? I got a police van right behind me. Roger. Roger. Popo. Popo behind us. We're going, we're going 35. This is like our it's first a, caravan. Yeah, it, we're... Because it's 35 miles an hour, really close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, okay, so Scotty was telling you about this generator, and I'm sorry, it's really bumpy on this road. No, They're doing some work on the road. So, anyways, what I wanted to do was get a uh, Champion 4600-watt generator. I uh, looked online, went to Tractor Supply, ordered it from them and everything, and I ended up going all the way to the far end of town uh, just because I was kind of in, in that area, and I was hoping maybe they had one. Anyways, uh, they ordered it. It only took five or six days to get it, and I had to blow in the gas tank to get it to fire up. And later I realized, yeah, yeah, yesterday actually, that the choke wasn't kicking on, and it has an automatic choke, and that wasn't kicking on. So I went to return it at the Foothills Tractor Supply and the lady said, you bought it online, you cannot return it here, you have to take it all the way across the town to return it for them to do anything. So there's more depth into really what I wanted to do. Needless to say, <laughs> not, not that happy with my whole experience with Tractor Supply and I support those guys a lot, yeah. a we're, lot. We're gonna call the corporate office and and I'm gonna look online and look at the policy and just make sure because what Scotty wasn't saying is that we want to order another one but we don't want to get stuck in a situation where we have a generator that if something happens we can't return it anywhere to any tractor supply and like you said we we shop at tractor supply all the time um, the employees at the other Tractor Supply work. Far excellent, into Yuma. Excellent customer service. Yep. Uh, I bought some pickle, dill pickle pretzels. <laughs> I even shared with one of the workers there because he had never tasted them before. And uh, so I shared a little bit of that with him. Anyway, so that's that's what happened with the generator, and hopefully we can get that figured out because we do need a we do need a way to run air conditioning in the unit. Yep. So we're working on the solar just trying to yeah. get to that point but sorry i'm all yet. over the place guys it's really this road is really bumpy all right so we're heading to ajo and i don't know how long it takes to get there but you guys will find out when we find out oh and it's a beautiful warm day yes it is that punk huh what you got down there 
you just head south and you'll see the big plant on the side there the Selena I believe it is and you'll see the the signs that say painted rock uh, petroglyph site 14 foot 11 inches we are good to go we can do this one. we can do it always always want to check your clearance Rocky Point Road for three quarters of a mile. All right, so eight dollars per vehicle per night. Please place fee and envelope and deposit in the receptacle. And checkout is two p.m. Oh, it's a two hundred and fifty dollar fine if you get caught climbing on those rocks. Here's some of the rules. We may have a nice little map of all the different things and the campsites that are available. So I don't, here's a camp group site A and group uh, site B, but I don't know how many people you have to have in a group to be able to go there. Oh, one of Scotty's favorites. Look at that. Oh. He saw one of these. Oh, make his day, make his year. So, get this. Oh, and my not so favorite. Two loops here. We're gonna take the. Come. Take the next left. They've got a nice disability handicap site here. 
nice. Wow, we've got a nice fire pit. Two right here and then one over there. We got two. Do not enter. Um I guess maybe over there. I don't know. I don't really know what you guys want to do. Half a mile, turn right. Okay, there's a bunch of open ones down here. There's all these are open too. Instead of being right in the center. I mean, go down. Yep. Right over here. Right here. Right side here. Go down. Go down to that next one. So there's seven, I back eight, in and ten. Do we want to try to get some of these? This one here. Okay. I'm back into that one. Okay, we're gonna back into uh, ten. Give seven. I think this will play. Wait, no, this, yeah, this one here, I can pull. <laughs> We're all looking for sights. Do I just go forward and do it this way, or do you have to turn? Uh, let me get out and look. Okay. Come on, the road. <laughs> These are really, really nice sights, you guys. Nice, big, open. Oh, look at that. I was just able to just roll around. We can get in here and get situated. Wow, this is a nice campground out here. Yeah, super nice. Babe, come on forward. All right, well, we got our spot. We've got Dave and Bella over there. And Aja's over there in the sun. I am putting together some broccoli soup the way I make it. Probably not the way that you've ever seen it being made. I've just got onion and carrot and potato for right now in here. And I'm just cooking it down and I'm getting ready to put some vegetable broth in there. I'm just going to put a little bit of broth in there for starters. Just let that cook down just a little bit. I've got some peppers over here that I just cut. And I'm getting ready to put those on a cookie sheet. And I'm going to put them in the oven and roast them real quick. So I'm just going to crinkle up some uh, parchment paper. It just helps it lay down better in the pan. I'm trying to do this one-handed for you guys. Uh, I'll just throw them on here. I usually will uh, put roasted canned bell pepper in, but I didn't have any, but I did have red bell peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop those in a 400 to 500 degree oven. Now I'm not putting anything on these. I'm just gonna pop them in the bottom part where the broiler is supposed to be. Now, in a camper oven, broilers, well, no, I'm not going to. And you wanna know why I just decided not to? I have parchment paper, not safe. All right, so don't do that. <laughs> I just remembered that I was doing that. If I took the parchment paper out, I could, but I don't wanna, get a bunch of stuff stuck to my pan. So 500. I'm just going to let them cook like that. Up here I've got my onions, potatoes and carrots. Uh, somewhat boiling a little bit. I just want to get those really cooked down. Um, so the reason I use potatoes and carrots is carrot gives it a little bit more sweet taste and then the potatoes thicken the soup up a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my broccoli. My broccoli is already washed. I did that when I got home from the store. 
so I'll have to redo that. I'm going to go ahead and cut this end piece off. And then I'm just going to cut right up around the crown of the broccoli and just get these pieces off, the little flowerettes. Now don't throw this away. And that's just two good stalks of uh, broccoli. Let's just set that aside, get my oven lighter put away so I don't lose it. I didn't pull out my big cutting board, so I'm trying to work on a little tiny one here today. Actually, my old cutting board. <laughs> I'm not used to it anymore. I've been using my nice big one. Oh, that's looking good. Potatoes are getting soft. I'm going to put just a little bit more broth in, just because it's starting to stick a little bit. And then once I get the broccoli in there, then I'll go ahead and put all the broth in and a little bit more water and some seasoning. And then I'm going to cut these down just a little bit more. Get the flowerettes. I don't know about you guys, but in broccoli soup, I like to have a good piece of broccoli uh, on my spoon. I know some places and some people like it like blended, blended uh broccoli soup. I like to have a nice chunk of broccoli. So I'm just kind of taking these bigger ones, just breaking them up a little bit. Kind of to the size that would fit on a spoon. Now these here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel these. Broccoli gets uh, very tough at the stem. But if you peel it, you just get up underneath it and pull that back, you get some of this uh, harder uh, outer layer off of there. I'm going to have to turn these potatoes and carrots down just for make some showing you guys. And then what I do is uh, you can either cut this a little bit. And then I just cut it up in little chunks because I absolutely love the stock. And then I go around and I kind of pull off a little bit more of that outer skin that's pretty tough. And then these you just can break off. It's just your preference of what you want in your soup. See, that makes quite a lot, but it's going to cook down. This is this brand that I use is Pacific Foods Vegetable Broth Organic. You can use whatever you want. Honey, do we still need to start the oven? I already started the oven oh. while you were out walking pumpkin. And then the last thing that I'm going to kind of add is some coconut milk uh, just to give it a little bit more creamy flavor. And I probably need to add a little bit more. I was going to add water to this, but I'm going to add more uh, vegetable broth. I always have... Um, I always have a couple on hand up in the cupboard because you just you never know. Um, some people might need low sodium, which I do need low sodium. The problem is is that I am sensitive to low sodium foods that um, are packaged. I don't know if you've ever had something that said low sodium on it and when you when you tasted it, it tasted like maybe aluminum. Um, it's a real thing. People have a sensitivity to it, and that's what it tastes like to me. So I just have to uh, be cautious about the sodium levels in this because of my kidneys. Uh, 
So I just, I'm just careful about it. Today, however, I was really, really, really bad. How bad? I was really bad. Really bad. <laughs> eight months, you guys. Eight months I have not. I've only had two desserts in eight months. Um, one was I had a bite of cheesecake. And then Galen, our friend, she made a fresh, what was it, date bars. And there was brown sugar in that. But So that, that was really okay because the, the dates are, I can eat dates. But today, oh my gosh. When we went to Tractor Supply, they had dill pickle pretzels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I opened them. I wanted to try them and see what they tasted like. And, well, you know how that goes. That's like opening in a bag of Doritos. Were they good? And saying, oh, I'll only have one. Yeah. Yeah. So halfway here, my hands started swelling up. Um, Scotty's like, yep, shouldn't have done that. I was like, yep, learned my lesson. I wasn't lecturing. I have not done anything like that in eight months. So, you know, tonight I just have to be, you know, good. We're going to have all vegetables for dinner, uh, which we always do, but I'm not... The only processed uh, items are very minimal processed, which is the vegetable broth and the coconut milk. And another thing, what do I got here? Oh, I'm going to put some roasted uh, garlic in there, sorry, which buddy. has oil in it, but I try to get as much oil off as I, I can of that. Why are you crawling I on the floor? What are you doing down I there? Get a, I don't want to get in the shot. I got, I got to get a Coca-Cola down here. Oh. <laughs> He's getting a Coca-Cola. They're down here. Scotty drinks Coca-Cola. I do not drink that. Stuff. Not very often. Man, One, that maybe stuff's a got month. Way too much crap in it. I used to like Diet Pepsi. But no more. I haven't had a soda oh, in eight months. That's and I don't, it's been I don't, a long time. It's yeah. been a very long time. I don't miss it, actually. Um... I think it would taste kind of funny, actually, to me. Probably too sweet. You know when you haven't had something for a really long time, like sugars, oils, um, anything that you cut out of your normal daily diet that you were really used to, and then say you go five, six months without having it, when you have, when you eat it, it's sometimes got a bad flavor, like sugar to me. Like I had that. What did we have? We had uh, we had a waiter that. We had some extra money on a ticket on a, a card, and he said, "Oh, let us let me just give you some." Um, I, I what was that's that? We had the cheesecake. Cheesecake. He yeah. said, "Let me just give you guys some cheesecake to take home," and I instantly knew I shouldn't have that. But we got home, and I had a little bite of it, a spoonful. No, it just coated my mouth. It was really weird. Same thing with the oils. Oils just I can taste that oil. We went out with Aja, and we had. Uh, little fish tacos and the little fish was fried in there and I could taste that too so so we're really you know I mean like I was saying in a different video we're like we're like 85% plant-based we try at home we buy no meat um, we do process some processed uh, sausages like I showed you but that's plant-based also but it, it is processed so you got to be really careful processed food and I guess I'm telling you guys this stuff because people have asked us in the comments and we do we do have uh, viewers that have kidney disease as well and so you know maybe we can just all share together and figure it all out I see somebody walking over yeah come uh, the change is right there <laughs> what does he so, need? I don't know what changes. Uh, the change, uh, she change. needed change to pay. Oh. So when you come out to these places, you got to have change. Luckily, I had enough change for Aja to break a 20, so. All right, so I'm going to, oh gosh, you guys, I can't, let's see. <laughs> so hard to figure this out. Maybe that one. Hi. Okay. Oh, I gotta get my, uh, we were over here talking and looking at the sunset. It is so gorgeous out here. Love it. All right.
right, so my, uh, ooh, yum. I gotta turn these. Look at this. Oh, I got nice and charred. Oh, look at that. That is yummy. That's what gives it the good flavors. I'm just gonna pop them in there like that. Oh, that pan is hot. So I got a little sidetracked talking with Aj. I forgot that I wanted to blend my potatoes and carrots up. <laughs> so, uh, and I would have blended up the bell peppers. That's all right. I'm gonna, I'll blend up a little bit to make it a little thicker, but then we'll have some chunks of broccoli, potato, carrot, the uh, red pepper. I'm gonna put my garlic in last um, because it's already cooked, it's already roasted. I'm gonna do that last. I am gonna put uh, garlic powder. And I'm gonna put a little onion powder in there. I'm just gonna let that cook down. Let that broccoli get nice and cooked and get the potatoes uh, nice and soft. And then we'll go from there. All right, Scotty decided that he wants to have a little rice. Just a little rice. Just a little rice in his uh, soup. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have uh, some rice. I think what you're gonna do, are you gonna just put the rice in your bowl and then pour this over? Is that what you're doing? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So I was gonna have a yeah. non bread. Um, but we'll go ahead and just have the rice. And then I just take that roasted garlic and I just get off as much of the oil as I can. Some people think that you have to have oil. Some people don't. I choose not to. It's just your preference. I'm going to cut these up just a little bit. Although, these are fantastic. Yum. Yeah. See, that's a lot of oil. That's just empty calories to me. So. <laughs> and after I ate those <laughs> dill pickle uh, dill pickle let me show you guys what they are. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And I'm gonna continue to have a few of them, but I'm definitely gonna limit myself. I just, I couldn't control myself today, it was horrible. So that's what they are. We're not sponsored by them or anything. It's just, I picked them up at Tractor Trailer. Tractor um, oh, Tractor Supply. So it was funny because the um, guy who was helping us, I asked him what he thought, if he knew if they were good or not, if he had tried them, and he said, no, I've never tried them before. He said, I'd like to try them, though, because I've never, uh, he said, because people ask me about it, and I don't really know what to tell them. So he was out there helping Scotty get the uh, generator out of the truck to return it. So I opened it up real quick, and I gave him some, and so he was able to try them. He actually liked them, too. So I don't know where else you buy them, but oh, they're good if you like pickles. Okay, I'm just gonna put, not putting a whole lot in, maybe half a cup. That's it. I gotta show you guys the view. Is that not gorgeous or what? There's Aja right over there. My windows are pretty dirty from the dusty roads, but that's just a gorgeous view. We were just talking that we could probably stay here for a couple days and uh, not leave. <laughs> we might overlike it. Yeah. It's just a beautiful park. But, yeah, and the host, uh, they came up and there's no time limit here, which is odd. It's BLM, but there's no but time limit. Does BLM... I guess they can charge you money to be on BLM. I thought it was yeah. free. Well, it's eight dollars. So. Right. Yep. But it's beautiful here. Oh, it's gorgeous. They got garbage. I mean, um, we've got all our yeah. windows open, and we don't normally do that because we usually have people right next door to us, and you know, you want a little bit of your privacy. There's Dave and Bella. 
Look at the skies over there, gorgeous. Right there are the pictographs on that hill there, and there's some little reader boards, so I'm gonna take you guys over there tomorrow. And then we just have the mountain silhouettes over here. So pretty. Scotty's got the little Honda going. Good thing we got that. But you see how big these spots are? They're huge. Now this one right here where Aja originally was is two sites, so you could share together. Um, this one that we're in is, man, it's huge. But I don't know if they allow you to share one site. That's a double site over there. We should ask the host about that because these sites are so big. I mean, our group, knowing the spots we get into, we could cram five rigs in there. Right, rigs, right. Know? Even though we pay eight dollars for each rig, it's fine. Sure, like and we've done dollars. that before. Absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, see what that tastes like one more time. Oh. So if you decide to make something like this yourself, you you probably will want to put a little bit more seasoning than what I did. Um, I'm just trying to be careful tonight. That's really good. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the most important thing in this whole dish, my nutritional yeast. It, it just gives it a little cheesy taste. I'm not going to put a whole lot in there. I'd say maybe an eighth of a cup. That's about good. I am going to pull some of this out and put it in my bullet here. And you got to be really careful with these things when, when you're putting hot stuff in here because the heat can expand and you open this thing up and it can kind of explode on you. I've had it happen, so just be extra careful. Um, I'm just going to put some in here and see how much more, I, if I want to put any more in. I'm going to blend it up and pour it back in and that's going to kind of make it a little bit more creamy. Like I said, be very, you hear it? It really creates uh, some pressure in there. Just don't don't fill these all the way up when you have hot stuff. I That's what I did and I had quite a mess. So see, just makes it nice and creamy. Just gonna add it back into the soup. And that just gives it a little bit more thickness. And you know what, even if you're not plant-based, and you have a recipe for, for broccoli soup, just leave it in there. Not everybody's plant-based. We all have our own thing going on. So if you want to leave a recipe down there, go for it. Okay, so it thickened it up a little bit. Not not a lot, but... And it certainly isn't exactly like I envisioned today when I was on our way here and I decided to make broccoli soup. I've got big chunks of uh, other things in there, but that's... Yeah, that's a great thing about uh, kind of doing your own recipe. You just kind of put the basics and then you go from there. And this is good. This is sushi rice, by the way. It's, uh, we make a lot of sushi these days, so Scotty just made some sushi rice. Except he doesn't put the, uh, uh, what do you call it, rice vinegar and all the stuff that you put in there for uh, sushi rice. Just plain old sushi rice. Sticky rice. Alright. Well, that's how we're going to do it tonight. Oh, yum. Oh, you know what you could put in this? I know Aja would do this. You could put curry in this. Curry seasoning. Oh, spices I guess. I'm not sure. That's yummy. All right, that's what we're having for dinner tonight. That's good. Mmm. Yum. I'm going to do you. mine without pepper first. All right. Bon appetit. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. That's pretty good. It, oh, it could use some some miso for some salty, you know, mm, flavor. Awesome. But mm -hmm. that's what I get when I pretzels. No. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah, it is. Mm. 
Not sure if I want to add any pepper. Have you already added pepper to it? You just added pepper to mine. Right. I, no, I did not put any. I'll put a little on just see if, oh, sorry about that. See if it does anything to it, because I love pepper. Do you need more flavor? No. No, that's really good. It's kind of like the bland diet today, <laughs> this evening. Mm. You think it's bland? Well, I typically would put miso in there, but I just, I can't do any more sodium today. Yep, you overdid it. I gave Scotty a bite of the, um, I had him taste one of the pretzels, and he said, it tastes like it has something that would make you want to eat a lot of them. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So if you try this and you put different stuff in there, let me know. I never made it really like that before, so I think it's good. Next time I'll be able to put some peas well, I think it's great. Yeah, it is pretty good. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around because I want you to see what I'm watching.